Thank you, William. Chief, uh, I represent, coming today, represent the Greater Bonaire Kathleen Rotary Club. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for allowing me to join you. Put me down, Mike, to uh, make up, okay? <laughs> uh, but it's good to see a lot of friends in here today, and I'm glad I, I asked to come today because of your speaker. And uh, I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, this March, when Governor Deal appointed him as Commissioner of Driver Services, uh, I wrote a note and congratulated him and said, now can I get my license reinstated? <laughs> so, uh, uh, but uh, Bert has been a good friend, came to work with our administration in uh, 2006. He'd been a state employee, you can see from his bio, had been in the Department of Transportation, Economic Development, and in 2006, after re-election, uh, uh, I asked him to come be our communications director. And uh, if you know anything about that job, that's an important job because Really, he is speaking on your behalf to various communication outlets and media on an ongoing basis. They really have to have not only your voice, but your heart and your spirit of knowing the person. So uh, I trusted Bert to do that because uh, knowing Bert's heart, he's a great family guy. He's a wonderful family man, a good church member. I've spoken in his church two or three times and uh, in Henry County. And uh, he really has a heart for public service. I, I tell you today, he grew up in Valdosta, uh, Wintersville, and uh, bought that sports mentality through the University of Georgia, still is an avid uh, sports follower of university and uh, all of our professional teams with uh, his hobbies, but really cares for people. He has a heart for people. He uh, was one of the ones that helped, helped lead our uh, c emphasis on customer service and our administration, particularly in something now leading something that affects all of us who have uh, driver's licenses. And uh, you well know that your relationship with uh, our driver department of driver services is important uh, every few years when you go. And uh, I want to compliment these folks over the, over the job they're doing and uh, how they're serving people. When we became elected, you may remember, people were having to take a day off of work to go get their driver's license renewed. And, uh, they really made a huge turnaround, the same people and everything else, but it was really an organization that led out in customer service, and I'm really proud of that. And I'm really proud that Bert gets to the chance to lead that organization into the next level of that technology and other ways because he has a real heart for improving people's life through uh, technology and through good customer service. So, Bert, I'm glad to have you in my home county and our the, the, the town in which I was born, and I know that uh, you know a lot about all of Georgia, but uh, you won't find a friendlier place than Perry House in County, Georgia, and we're glad to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, for a guy who worked for four years uh, for Governor Purdue, that's, um, that's something I hadn't experienced before. He's not uh, introduced me to a, a crowd before. That was, that was great, thank you. Um, it, uh, it was a real pleasure. I, I feel like, uh, I, I, as Governor said, I grew up in Valdosta, went to school in Athens. Uh, I live now in Henry County where my wife grew up. We've got several sort of adopted hometowns. Uh, I, for four years I talked about this area a lot because uh, things would come up, uh, issues. Uh, at the governor's office. I kind of feel a little kinship uh, whenever I drive through on the way uh, home. Uh, we always uh, point over at the fairgrounds and uh, point out places that I visited while coming down here with, uh, with the governor of the time. So I, I feel a little, a little kinship with the, with the area here. But um, I'll just take a quick second. I, you know, I just got to tell you, um, being the communications director for a governor or anybody, a mayor or in, in any, any elected official like that, you get to see the person uh, in the great times and, and the not so great times. I mean, really, uh, we, we traveled all over the world together and uh, I've never met a more consistent um, person. Uh, when I would come in, a lot of times I'd come in early because I could catch him early before his, his day got started. And most of the time when I would come up, uh, I would interrupt his quiet time that he was doing uh, in the office, uh, reading the Bible and, and praying. Uh, I wouldn't interrupt that. I, was, I, I would notice that he was doing it. And I would come back later. Uh, but um, but but uh, you know, Georgia is so uh, lucky to have had through some pretty tough times. We had a we had drought. We had uh, recession. 
Uh, we had, you know, we didn't have money. We didn't have water. We didn't have. I mean, we had a lot of stuff we didn't have during that second term. Uh, after a really successful first term with a lot of very positives going on, the second term was a real challenge, and I was able to see the governor uh, at uh, in a lot of difficult situations, and it was really a pleasure uh, to uh, to have him. In my opinion, to have him during that time, you need a steady hand uh, on the uh, on the steering wheel when you're when you're facing rough times. And uh, so anyway, so I just say that. Uh, I, I feel uh, very lucky to have, have spent that time. So I, I do feel uh, really lucky to, to be the Department of Driver Services Commissioner. It is something uh, that we began to work on during uh, Governor Purdue's tenure. Uh, and as he said, uh, and I hear it all the time, I used to have to take a day off of work. I would get in there and they weren't nice. Uh, they would you know, I'd have to come back. They wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get served when, when the day I was there. Uh, and we have really changed uh, that dynamic. I really have to credit uh, the governor's choice of a guy named Greg Dozier uh, to lead the organization for about seven years and in the last three years a guy named Rob Michael uh, has led the organization. And there really is, there's a customer service focus that our team has and uh, it's been great visiting the centers and I hope today you leave with a little bit of information that will help you the next time you need your license renewed. Maybe hopefully even you'll spread it to your friends and family. There's a couple of things that we can help uh, to save you time. Uh, and frustrations that we're going to share today. Uh, and But first, we're going to do a little audience participation. You don't have to do this, but it would be great if you did. So if everybody could reach in your wallet and pull out your driver's license. It's really incredible how much information about yourself is on this license. First of all, whether you lie about your weight. That's a good one. Um, but uh, so, uh, the, in honor of Governor Purdue being here, I just wanted to see, does anybody have a license still with Governor Purdue's signature, it would be right above your face. All right, couple. That's, that's going to be worth something one day. I'd encourage you to hang on to that, uh, <laughs> Governor. Uh, no, really, I really want to know, so this should be different people. If you raised your hand before, you should not raise your hand now. How many of you have a gold star in the top right-hand corner? Okay. All right, so that's about average. We're going to get into what that means a little later. Uh, and we got about 60% of Georgians so far <laughs> enrolled in what we call Secure ID here in Georgia. Uh, that's uh, Real ID. Congress passed that after the attacks in 2001. Uh, so we're getting into that, what that means in just a second. But uh, that is a really probably the most important thing that, that has changed at, at DDS since, if you haven't been lately since the last time that you've been. So we'll get into that in a second. So just a quick overview. We have 67 locations. Uh, around the state. We try to make them very conveniently uh, located so folks can get there uh, all around the state. You'll see a cluster obviously around Metro Atlanta uh, where a lot of the population is. I gotta be honest, there's a little bit of cluster here. Uh, we've got a center in Perry, a center in Warner Robins, and a center in Macon, uh, which is terrific. Uh, and uh, there's three little bunched up there that you won't, you won't see in, in most uh, other parts of the state. Uh, but it's a great uh, opportunity for you guys as you're out and about. You certainly are welcome to come to the Perry Center, but if you're closer to Warner Robins uh, or up in Macon, uh, you can come to whichever one's uh, most convenient. We do about almost 4 million face-to-face -face transactions per year, which is odd because there's only you know 10 million Georgians, right? Uh, and so a lot of those are repeat customers, and sometimes it's because they've had, as the governor mentioned, their license suspended, uh, and they're facing other um, troubles because the chief has, has, um, has interacted with them. Uh, but um, we get a lot of folks that come in, but hopefully you're just coming in once every eight years, uh, and, uh, and hopefully not waiting that time uh, that long when you, when you come in. So uh, we've got about 376,000 commercial driver's licenses. The CDL, we are in, in short supply of CDL drivers uh, around the state. Governor Deal has made this uh, a high demand career initiative. Uh, there's help if you, uh, you or somebody you know uh, needs a job. You can go to a tech school and get most of your tuition paid for uh, in order to help to meet, meet this demand. Uh, the ports are in the process of deepening uh, the, uh, the Savannah River and uh, we're gonna need even more because those larger ships are gonna come through, more trucks, uh, and, um, and so that is a huge demand right now. We have nine CDL centers around the state uh, to help meet that demand. There's also private training. There's a lot of different ways to get your, your CDL out there. Uh, and we are working hard to meet that demand. And, and a lot of our centers, the one in Jackson, for example, straight up, right up 75, there's a six week wait in order to get in and get tested for your, your CDL. Uh, and so uh, there is, it is a tough job, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of turnover in that job. Uh, but um, but it is a huge demand, and, and people can make a, a really good salary 
uh, driving a truck. So, um, so almost 400,000 commercial driver's licenses. That number is going to go up significantly uh, as soon as the uh, the harbor gets deep, and then we see even more trucks coming through. Uh, go ahead, Mike. The next one. So this is our Perry Customer Service Center, uh, right near the uh, the fairgrounds. I've visited about 28 centers so far. This is one that I've had the chance to uh, to come by and visit. Uh, we are located right next to the State Patrol office uh, there in Perry. Uh, which is great. We appreciate the partnership that we have with, with State Patrol. Uh, we really do every uh, service there except the CDL uh, testing that I mentioned earlier. You can do the knowledge exam there and get your permit. You just can't do a full-blown uh, test there. We always say this, and, and again, if you can help us spread the word, Tuesday is always the busiest day. We're closed on Mondays and Sundays, obviously, and so everybody who had a birthday over that Sunday, Monday, plus everybody who has a birthday on Tuesday uh, comes in on, uh, on Tuesday. So if you're going to plan a trip, certainly encourage you to come during the middle of the week, usually during the middle of the day before the kids get out of school. Uh, and, and, you know, I'd love, to, I'd love to say this. I don't know that we can really say it yet, but what we'd love to get to a point is if you come and wait at a DDS center, we want that to be your fault. You know, that we've given you all the information to avoid the wait. We have wait times on our website. You can literally go, just like at TSA at the, at the airport, the security lines, you can go and see what the wait time is in real time at the center <coughs> Uh, that you want to visit. So for here, if you see that Perry's, for whatever reason, on a, a long wait, you could go up to Warner Robins and maybe, uh, and maybe save time, even the drive up, might would, you might would uh, be there in less time. Uh, so I really want to encourage you to take advantage of those opportunities. We're doing everything we can to push towards online and using more uh, technology. We do have Barbara Baker with us today. Uh, Barbara is our interim manager uh, there in Perry. Our, our manager there is on out of family leave take care of a family member and so she has stepped in. The Perry Center is terrific. There's uh, two full-time employees and three part-time employees. Uh, really a great team. They work really well together uh, and uh, really it was a treat to, to visit them uh, a few weeks ago when I came by. Just real quickly by the way, just uh, want to round out the guest introductions. Mike Mitchell up here is uh, our chief of slide uh, forwarding. Uh, I drew the short straw. <laughs> uh, no, Mike is our uh, legislative uh, and government relations uh, director uh, and does an awesome job. And then Janine Ingram here in the front. Uh, we actually have a person at DDS uh, that handles social media for us. Uh, we have 75,000 followers on Twitter. I don't know if you guys do Twitter or not. I mean, just trust me, that's a lot. It's the most any state agency has. Uh, probably because people like to complain and they like to type in their complaint. But uh, Janine uh, handles all the social media platforms in addition to doing some video stuff and uh, a lot of different things. Very talented. Uh, but we answer a lot of customers and their complaints and, uh, and praise right there on, on Facebook and Twitter. We try to make sure anybody who puts in a comment or a question that we get them an answer for that. Uh, and again, it's just back to that, that customer service uh, focus that we have. <clears throat> So the Perry Customer Service Center, again, with only two full-time employees and three part-time, you'll see a highlight, well, you can't see it, but I'll tell you, and highlighted in yellow, uh, they are 50th in the state out of, uh, out of 67 in terms of number of transactions uh, you know, per year. Uh, and so, uh, which is, again, that's, that's fine. They do a great job there. It's a smaller center. Uh, and so if, you know, if seven people in a van pull up, uh, then you're going to get a little bit of a wait because there's only five folks working there. But for the most part, they do a terrific job. Uh, I'll just point you to that last number down there. FY16 today, service level 99.4%. Our goal is that everybody gets served with, I'm sorry, 95% of people get served within 30 minutes. And again, that is an incredible change from a couple years ago or, or many years ago when it was four hours, five hours. Uh, we kind of adopted the, uh, was it Domino's model, the 30 minutes? Uh, or free uh, pizza delivery, uh, and so if 95% of our folks that come in can get served within 30 minutes, we feel like we've we've done our job. Uh, and and to date, uh, the folks in Perry there at 99.4%. So that is a great service level. We really um, really appreciate that. So this uh, line graph, we measure everything at DDS uh, from the minute that you get in the door. We we put a clock on you. Uh, and then we see how long you wait. We also see how long your transaction takes when you're at the counter. Uh, and so we're measuring all along and then we're using that data to then make decisions about uh, staffing levels, uh, time open levels. We have some centers that are open on Saturdays to help the kids that are in school come in on Saturdays and get their permits. Other areas don't warrant it. And so uh, we're using all that data to continually make uh, decisions uh, on, for the agency. Uh, this is probably as good of a graph as you'll see anywhere in the state. Uh, the 
pink line is the average wait time. And you'll see in December of 2014, uh, they were at like a minute 26. Uh, I've had people say, you know, I came in the center and I pulled my ticket and I didn't even get to sit down before they were calling my number uh, to come up and, and get served. Even the tallest number there is only eight minutes. And so when you look at some of the stuff going around today at the VA, for example, uh, having the wait times that they do, uh, we are extremely pleased that uh, a center like Perry can operate at this level of productivity where really the maximum over a whole year that you saw was an average wait time uh, of eight minutes. Again, I still encourage you to check it before you come, uh, and that way you'll know. But, uh, but the likelihood is if you're, if you're coming to Perry, you're going to get served with a smile. Uh, and, uh, and with a pretty short wait time and a pretty short transaction time uh, as well. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the gold star, really important. Um, that means that you are, uh, you have a secure ID, you're real ID compliant. You probably brought, brought in your birth certificate or your passport, uh, your social security card, a couple of uh, proofs of address. If you're uh, a married person that has changed your name, you had to bring in a marriage certificate. Uh, if you're a divorced person, you had to bring in a marriage certificate and potentially a divorce decree if you moved your, your name back. We have to track your name literally from birth all the way through, through doc with documentation up to whatever the name is going to be on, uh, on your license. Uh, and so those are requirements, again, headed down, headed down by Congress in response to the 2001 uh, terrorist attacks. As you guys know, people accessed uh, planes uh, and did uh, damage. And so the 9-11 Commission came back with a lot of recommendations about what states should do uh, for driver's licenses. Uh, we have about 60% of Georgians have uh, the gold star now, have, or have a secure ID. There are some states that have not issued a single license uh, that is real ID compliant. And so we were way ahead of the curve on this. The Governor Purdue's leadership uh, and then and Governor Deal continuing uh, that uh, we are, we're way ahead of the curve. And it really makes a difference in a town like this because Congress has said, they keep moving the deadline back, but they say at some point, if you don't have that gold star, you won't be able to get on a flight, you won't be able to get through TSA, you won't be able to access a federal facility like a courthouse or a base. Uh, and, uh, and so there's a lot of strings that are on having that gold star. Uh, and again, they keep pushing the deadline back. It's back to 2018 now, so you don't worry about it. It's not anytime soon. We anticipate those will be, continue to be pushed back as states figure out how to do this. Uh, but thankfully, we are way ahead of the curve on this. About 60% of our folks have have um, the, the secure ID, uh, and by in two years, we will have about 90%. Because all of you that raised your hand, particularly those that still have the governor's signature, you're going to be coming up pretty soon, uh, and you'll be coming in to see us. And you're welcome uh, to come. You, probably, you may have gotten a 10-year license for a while. We were able to do that. Uh, with, the, with the Real ID passage, uh, we are limited to eight years as the maximum number. But if you have the gold star, you can renew once online. So you don't have to come in the center. You can actually not, you can avoid the center for 16 years, uh, assuming you're not 64. So if you're 64 or older, you do have to come in for a vision test. But for all those that are under 64, you can actually skip a trip, don't have to come into the center and get your license renewed online. So uh, please take advantage of that. Uh, again, the wait's not very long in Perry. Barbara does an awesome job. Uh, but you can help us serve the folks who do need to come in by, uh, by doing that online uh, and, um, and getting that done. Uh, and it's a great option for, for folks. Some other stuff that you can do, if you, were, if you lose your license or if it gets stolen, uh, you can replace that uh, online as well. And we'll send it to you in the mail. You don't have to come in for that. Uh, you can get your motor vehicle report, uh, change your address. There's a number of things you can do there. So I would just encourage you, if you think you need to come in, check the website out and you may, may determine that you don't have to. Uh, we get a lot of folks, when I visit the centers, I see people come in to do things they could have done online, which again is fine if you just like to visit. Uh, if you're bored, you don't have anything better to do than to come to DDS, you're welcome to. Uh, but we certainly would uh, encourage you to check that out. Uh, this is a new feature we have, the My DDS. So if you have uh, you know, a, a bank account, a Chase or whatever, uh, you might have a My Chase or a My at and We have a version of My DDS. Uh, this is actually my account that's up there now. You'll see I don't owe any fees, which is great, and don't have any points on my license. But uh, if you, I encourage you to go on and create your, your D, my DDS account. Uh, you can you will know immediately. Uh, we'll send you an email any changes that happens to your your driving record. Uh, obviously, you should know that. But in case you know uh, something nefarious happens, um, but you can keep up to up to date and up to status uh, on your uh, on your driver's license. My expiration date is there uh, in 2019. Um, so that's, there's a lot of services there that you can do and, and, and you'll have that 
uh, you know, forever. And if you brought in your documents and got that gold star, we scan those documents and we have those now. And that's why you don't have to come in uh, to, to renew. So we have that. We have that attached to your account. Uh, and that helps us to, uh, to allow you not to come in and have to bring all that stuff back again. You don't have to do that every time. It's just the first time when you, what we call when you enroll in, in Secure ID. The other thing you do if you're planning a visit, if you have to come in, uh, please go to the website and look for that red box. Uh, it's what we call Skip a Step. It will allow you to put all your information right into our system. Uh, and so when you come into the center, instead of them handing you a clipboard and a sheet of paper to fill out, which is completely frustrating, it's that like daughter's office where you go in and you've been there, you know, and they say, you know, fill this out. You're like, well, you have all this information. I filled this out the last 40 times I've been here. Um, you, you can do this online. You can type it straight into the system. And when you get to the center, then you get to skip that step of having to fill that piece of paper out. Uh, the other, some other benefits, you know the name of your spelling, the spelling of your name. You know how to spell your address. All that will be in the system. We don't have any keying errors for our uh, team member who you know, might have transcribed a, you know, E and I or, uh, or it was drive instead of street. You know all that best. If you key all that in, answer all those questions about organ donation and all that stuff, that's all shortening your time at the counter, the transaction time. So I really encourage you to do that. Or if you're anybody that says they need to go to DDS, tell them to do that. It will cut your time in the center in half. Uh, and again, if you just don't have anything to do and want to be there, that's fine. But uh, if you're in a, in a hurry, uh, that will really help you uh, come to the center and, and get out in a hurry. Uh, you just key thing on that is within 30 days, and you can go to any center. You don't have to you don't have to specify which center you're going to. So again, if you're up in Macon or in Warner Robins, we've got it in the system. Any center in Georgia will have that uh, in there, and you can um, and you can come in and, and skip straight to the to the front of the line. You can also do it online, so uh, uh, on your phone, on your smartphone. I, I was speaking to the Velosta Rotary, uh, my hometown, a couple weeks ago, and as Mike drove, I did this myself on my phone uh, and filled it out. I wanted to sort of see the, how the process worked, uh, and it worked great. I got my license renewed because I wanted one with my signature on it, a little vanity uh, uh, confession there. Uh, but um, So I did that when I got to Valdosta, and it was great. It worked perfect. Uh, we also send you a little uh, customer service survey at the end of that, and you can tell us how we did. And we use that to inform the, the team members uh, how they're doing. And they get, they get ratings on that as well. So really encourage you to, to do that. If you can, give us an email address. Uh, we'd love to communicate with you email about anything that's going on, remind you that your renewal's up, uh, and, and all those kind of things. And send you that, that survey as well. So I went really fast. I know I talk fast as a communications guy. That's, uh, that's what I do. Uh, but usually when we have these, people have questions. Um, and I really have told you everything I know. I've only been doing this since March. So it's likely I won't know the answer, but that's why I have Mike here. Uh, or I'll make it up, which is what I used to do for the governor. I would just make it up uh, and, uh, and give you some great spin, uh, as, as communications directors do. But, uh, but we'd love to, if you have questions, uh, we'd love to, to answer it, anything at all. And, you know, anything about the governor, I'm quite glad, quite glad to share anything that you want to know about that. Yes, sir. How about DMVR online? Is that free? It's not free, right? It's $5? It depends on whether or not you want a certified copy or uncertified. Okay. Oh, right, 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 right. Right. Cost. right. Yeah, the certified copy costs. But, but, you, but that, that was essentially my MVR that he pulled up when you had that My DDS account. So you can see your, your information for free, but if you want to get sent a certified copy. What else? If you're not up for the middle, can you get the gold star? You can. You can. You can bring, just bring your documents in, and then documents are listed. Just for you know, quick, you know, passport or birth certificate is one, social security card or something with your social security number, and then a couple of just proofs of address, your bill, you know, something that, that ties you to an address. Uh, for men, or, or for most people, uh, and if again, if you have changed your name, uh, we we had actually had somebody that worked with us who was a man who took his wife's name. But anyway, regardless, if you change your name because of a marriage, uh, bring a marriage certificate or some sort of proof that we can track your, uh, your, your name change as well. But, uh, but yeah, you can come on in and get the gold star. Again, we anticipate Congress will, will keep putting that, that deadline back. But, um, but yeah, I mean, go ahead and get it done, and that way you can renew once online. You'll be good for eight years. We used to offer an option in terms of how long your, uh, your, uh, your term was, but thanks to Representative Blackman and the General Assembly, uh, we have set that at eight years now. So every, uh, unless you're CDL or some special license, uh, it's an eight-year license, and I, as I was explaining uh, to, uh, to the legislature we was going through this, if you think about a dentist office where everybody comes in on a six-month basis, you can really 
plan that out, right? I'm here in January and July. You're here in February and August. Uh, but when we had multiple terms, if you think about if, if I was on a six month and the governor was on a five month and Janine was on a four month, there'd be some months where we'd all come in at the same time, right? And so st uh, having a standard term helps us manage the flow through the center because you don't have eight years and five years and whatever, multiple years coming in at the same time. We're able to, to, to strategize the staffing and make sure we've got people to handle the flow by having that standard term on the license. So it's an eight-year license. It costs $32, $4 per year, which is pretty cheap. I mean, for all that you get with a driver's license, you know, um, a pretty cheap, uh, pretty cheap cost. Uh, and so uh, you can even, there's some ways you can get discounts, right? Um, by organ donation? No. Not organ donation, but you can get a discount if you do your transaction online. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the online transaction, you get a discount. Uh, and then of course, veterans, uh, yeah, veterans are free. Uh, so anyway, there's a, uh, we really try to be customer service focused. Uh, it is, I say this all the time, it is the one thing that every Georgian has to do. I mean, if you deal with the Department of Revenue, you probably hire an accountant to do that. Um, if you deal with, I mean, most state government dealings you do, you can hire somebody to do that. This is the one thing you can't, you can't hire somebody to do. I mean, you have got to come in yourself. And as our team members will tell you, we get the nicest person in the world all the way to the not nicest person in the world. And they all come in. Uh, and so they have a, a really tough job. Please be nice to our folks as you come in. Uh, but, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's the one thing every person has to do. And it's the one thing we should do right. I mean, it, it's, it's not rocket science. Uh, and, uh, and thanks to uh, the support of General Assembly uh, and, and leadership from the governor's office, we've been able to, uh, to keep statewide wait times. Even in Metro Atlanta, the statewide wait time, uh, we still are around 15 minutes. Uh, and so, uh, you know, the old days, again, of taking a day off is just, is just not, it's not the case anymore. We have some days where they get up to an hour, uh, and we hate those, uh, but uh, the traffic just is, is too much sometimes. But most of the time, you're going to come in, you get a great experience, you get a smiling face, uh, and we'll get you taken care of and out in a hurry. Yes, sir. Bert, I know there was a lot of confusion and frustration when the real ID laws took over regarding documentation particularly among senior citizens, that I've had a driver's license for 60 years, you want my birth certificate, I don't even know where it is, and all that. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the compliance, why that was done, the federal law, and how the state had to integrate into that. Yeah, so uh, just yesterday, not yesterday, last week, uh, there was, a, 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 I think, a Vietnam veteran. He uh, served in Vietnam. He was up in, in Blairsville at our center there, and they were asking him for all this, this information, and he, when he called the commissioner's office to complain, he said, you know, they didn't think I was an American. And I'm, I, I know they didn't think that, but that was his takeaway, right? I mean, I'm, you, I'm, you're asking me to prove all this stuff. I know who I am. I've had a license for this many years. It can be very frustrating, particularly for folks who have, again, you know, been here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with their license, and now we're making them bring uh, all this in. So it really does tie back to, um, you know, not that we, we don't blame everything on Congress. We blame a lot of it on Congress. It really does tie back to... Uh, the Real ID Act, Congress passed that, that law in reaction to September 11th. Uh, the, the whole point is to prove who you are. Uh, who you are is who you say you are. Uh, because once, that, once you have the gold star, you, you're, you know, in their minds, you're, uh, you're set, right? I mean, you're secure, you're in the system, you are who you say you are. Uh, they use that, they share it with the passport uh, information. There's a lot of sharing of information that goes on uh, at the federal level as well. Uh, and so I understand the frustration. I mean, I get it. I uh, totally understand it. And so we really have to, Barbara can, I'm sure, tell you stories about folks that have come in very frustrated at that. Uh, and so it really is why these kind of visits are so important to get the information out to people about what you have to bring in uh, to make sure you're prepared. Because if you come in and then have to leave, that's incredibly frustrating. Now, in a lot of centers, in reaction to this, we have put computers that the public can access. They can actually print something out right there from the computer. So if you need, a, for example, a bill, if you didn't bring a bill in, you can go into your online AT&T account and print out a bill, and that way you don't have to go home uh, and come back.